by the end of this video, you'll be able to identify what is a beam, the purpose of a beam, lintel beam, tie beam, plinth beam, and gida beam. The highlighted parts of this shown structural frame are called columns. Columns are vertical members and the highlighted parts of this structural frame are called slabs. However, in construction, beams are horizontal structural elements or members that transfer loads to the columns. To keep it simple, during analysis and design, we use lines to represent beams and other structural elements. Beams carry loads such as steel, stones, bricks, blocks, concrete. Beams at times carry the loads of columns, which are then transferred to other columns. Beams can also carry walls. Beams also have its own self weight. Due to these loads, beams experience compression and tension. These loads can cause a beam to experience deflection. Loads can cause a beam to experience shear force, including bending. To avoid structural failure during design, for example, in reinforced concrete design, steel and concrete are put together to resist compressive and tensile stresses. A beam can be made of concrete, steel, timber, or you can have a composite beam. For example, putting steel and timber together or having concrete and steel put together. Purpose of a beam in a structure. Beams are provided to resist load. Beams are provided to counter bending moment and shear force. Beams are provided to connect the structure together. Beams provide a uniform distribution of loads on a structure. Lintel a lintel is a beam placed across openings like doors and windows to support the load from the above structure. These openings in the structure, if not supported, can trigger cracks, deflections and the failure of the structure. These are lintels. However, each of these is known as sail. You can see that a lintel is not connected to another member. Tie beam. Tie beam connects two or more 
beams and columns together bringing the whole structural element together to become a structural frame any of such beam connection constructed on the ground or at a height is simply known as a tie beam tie beams ensures structural stability plinth beam when tie beam exists close to the foundation on the ground it's given a special name known as plinth beam plinth beam is usually the first beam constructed immediately after the foundation plinth beam usually exists between the superstructure and the substructure and this level is usually called the plinth level this is where the substructure ends and the superstructure begins tie beams that exist at this level are called plinth beams plinth beams helps to distribute the structural loads over the foundation plinth beams help to connect columns together plinth beams will help prevent cracks on the walls from the foundation during differential settlement Gidder. A gida is simply a large main beam which supports smaller beams. For example, in this structural element, the gida beam will carry other smaller beams in the structure. This arrangement helps in the sequential transfer of loads from the joist and beams to the gida beam and then to the column and to the foundation. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. To locate other helpful videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.